Softball 360 is brought to you by Tunnel 360. Safety, comfort, and unrivaled performance. What you expect from Tunnel. Softball Magazine, America's source for softball news. World Softball League. Play the next level. Play the WSL's Mike in Championship Series. And by Softball360.com. Softball's home for great products and great prices. Welcome back to Softball 360. I'm your host, Natalie Kane. Today, coming to you from Safeco Field in Seattle, Washington. Now it's time for the big show. Team Easton and Team Mikan are about to take the field. Let the games begin. Who will be the long haul bomber to hit the most home runs? Find out now. Coming in to today's event at Seattle Safeco Field. Team Mikan and Team Easton both remain undefeated. This should be a spectacular show today. Well, how many do you think you're going to hit today? The goal is always nine. Uh, I'd like 10. I'm putting 12 up. 12. I hope, right. I hope. 12 it is. My lucky charm's with me again here today, oh, so yes. we'll see what happens. What's it like having a dad who's a long haul bomber? I like it because he like shows me stuff that I can do too. So do you think that one of these days coming up in the future, you're going to be one of the long haul bombers? Hopefully, yeah, I want to be. Look out, softball world. Another buck might be eyeing crowds with humongous home runs. Up to bat first is Team Mikan's Denny Krein. Krein is no stranger to the second deck. Almost every single home run he's hitting is being launched to the fans up there. Amazing power. This last pitch is for the money ball, and holy cow, Krein almost blasted that bomb clear out of the stadium. That's a stunning 11 points for Krein. And you have the money ball, of course. You're gonna jinx me one of these times. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I promise. Team Easton's Brett Helmer is still on the DL. So once again, Scott Kirby's come out to hit in his place. Oh wow, what elevation on that hit, a skyscraper. Oh, but it didn't quite make it out of here. After a few more swings, Kirby got on a roll and began blasting bombs. The coffee capital of the US must have woke him up to a home run streak. And now it's time for everyone's favorite pitch, the money ball. Oh, ho, ho, he launched that ball into the second deck. Kirby put up a helmertastic 10 points. So what do you think about your experience so far on the stadium power tour? This is, it's great. Getting hit in these beautiful stadiums, it's amazing. You no. can't beat it. Absolutely, it's, it's the best. Up next was Team Mikan's Gino Buck. Buck got off to a slow start, but soon was in the zone. He must like challenging himself because Buck kept blasting the ball into center field. This pitch is for the money ball and cha-ching! Buck cashed it in. Buck wasn't able to match the 12 he hit at the Minneapolis Metrodome, but he did blast a solid eight. How much of it really is mental? Mental, you know, I'd say 80% of it's mental. Mentally, you know, there's, there's a lot at stake and there's a lot of pressure. So mentally, you gotta, you know, keep reminding yourself that, you know, it, it's it's just uh, an exhibition and get out there and, and, and hit like you can. The final batter of the day, Team Easton's Brian Wegman steps up to the plate. Weggs got off to a great start, but then ran into a bit of a funk. Weggs must have found his groove again because he just blasted a monster shot off the railing of the roof. Whoa, let's see that one again. Now it's time for the money ball, and oh, oh, another gravity-defying home run. Wegman ended his turn with eight points, which is just short of crowning Team Easton the winner. During the Bombers autograph session, Natalie ran into a long-haul Bombers super fan. This is better than Christmas for me. I, I mean, it is that good. Brian, how do you think you did today? Fair, uh, fair. I, I won at nine. I got eight, so come up a little short, but how, how, how did I do? I think you did really good. Good, good. Where'd you get this jersey then? How'd you get a hold of that? Softball360.com. Oh, that's nice. Here are the standings after today's event. Mikan is the last team standing in the undefeated category. For more information on the long haul bombers, go to softball360.com.
Now, we'll hand it over to Natalie Kane, who's made her way over to Seattle's famous Pike Place Market. Well, there you have it. Another champion is crowned today. That's all the time we have for this episode of Softball 360. And don't forget, for all things softball, visit softball360.com. I'm your host, Natalie Kane, coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. These men have no mercy, and they're going to show you this summer. Denny Krein and Gino Buck, the best team of softball home run hitters in the world. What makes them so good? Mike it. The returning home run champions are armed with the newest Mike and Arsenal, the MV1 and special edition Long Haul Bomber Bat. Catch Denny and Gino with Team Mike and this summer on the Long Haul Bomber Stadium Power Tour. Mike it. Elite equipment for the elite player.